Okay, this is him sitting here and looking pretty. Um, we're just doing this little... Go! We're doing a little collab today. It's just a fun um, rapid fire book tag because for those of you who don't know, I love reading and I'm a huge book nerd. As you see by my shirt, it's a Harry Potter cat pun shirt. I have a tag on Titan. Mine That's says Sepurus, the half blood prince. Anyways, so basically how it works is I ask questions about books, but it's not like trivia questions. You'll you'll see like once I get started, and we just answer them so you get to know a little bit about um, our taste in books, things we recommend, that kind of thing. <laughs> You've read books. He likes books too. He's just really bad at thinking, like on the spot. <laughs> He's really bad at thinking. <laughs> Pause on the spot. Thanks. So Thanks. We're, we're just gonna... I'm good. <laughs> okay, so oh, you ask me, do I? I don't no, ask you any. No, we both answer them. Oh. I just have these, because so I keep them ones. Okay, ebook or physical? In my mind, I say ebook, but it's physical. Okay. Like I'm sorry. I don't think you own it. No, but like conceptually, I feel like ebooks are the most efficient way to do books. Yeah. But at the same time, I wouldn't read as many books if they were ebooks. books Yeah. I read the physical copies. Yeah, I'm very much a physical person. I just like the feel of them. <laughs> and the smell of them. Mm, paper! Basically, I like mm. I'm one of those people who smells books. I'm like Rory from Gilmore Girls. I smell everything else. <laughs> I don't smell my books. I'm the weird one here, too. Like, yeah, I smell books. Yeah, no, I'm definitely, but I get that ebooks can be really convenient when you go traveling and stuff. You don't need to carry like a suitcase of books, you can just have like a Kindle. A s how long are you traveling for? Well, like on exchange. A suitcase? Like I, I took so many books when I went on exchange. Anyways, question two. <laughs> Paperback or hardcover? I, no, it doesn't matter. To yeah, me. I, I, I read both, but I think hardcovers are prettier to collect. But really? paperbacks, well, generally, like hardcovers oh. have. I would have thought the other way around. I like the paperbacks better, yeah. personally, for reading because they're more. Fun. Yeah, for reading, they're nicer. So that's to why read. I probably would say paperback. Yeah, but like for collecting purposes, I like the hardcovers. What, like just because they look. Nice. That's one thing I think we differ on. Yeah. It's collecting versus just reading. Yeah, I like having a collection and you're like... I I'm very read. much a, like, I'm happy getting it from the library. Yeah. Reading it in like... Well, that question's gonna come up soon. I was so I wasn't so sure, so, so I didn't so know. So stop talking. No. Um, talking. This is me talking. Online shopping or in-store shopping? When you buy books. Okay. Awkward moment where I'm gonna go closer. It's raining. And it's loud. Movie magic, folks. <laughs> there we go. Online or in store? Yeah. Fuck. You don't need to be so stressed. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think. I don't know, probably in store. Yeah. I don't know. Actually, online is more convenient, so I'd probably say online. I haven't bought, like, a large amount of books in a long time, like at once. But I'd say online if I know what I want, in store if I'm just looking for a book of X type. Yeah. I'm looking for a book to read. Yeah. In store is way more convenient in my opinion because you can walk around to the different sections yeah. and like ask people for help. Yeah. I guess you can Google search. I think there's something like magical about looking through bookstores. <laughs> It's just nice. Magical! But, I to be the fair, cat wizard. I do, um... TRAIN! I do online shop for books conveniently because, um, there's usually more sales online rather True. than in store. So that's why I usually, like, what I do a lot of times is I'll browse in store, find the books I want, and then buy them online. Oh my <laughs> Unless God. they're already on a big sale, in which case I'll get them right away. But um, but I do love walking through bookstores and the experience of that. 
sometimes, but generally I just go for whatever the cheapest price is, and if that's online, I Cheap buy things that are one. good. <laughs> Trilogies or series? Define series. More than three books. <laughs> well, it could be two. No. Okay, apparently you're not allowed to have a two series a of two. Duology. Really? There's a word for that? Pretty sure. But usually, Duology? have you really seen just two books? I've read a lot more series. Okay. Books. Series, yes. I read, when I was like eight, I read like 50 Redwall books. <laughs> um... I read the Pendragon stuff in like grade yeah, seven. Yeah. Yeah. That whole like that was like ten books. I think I struggled through you, the last you have five. Read, definitely read. Them. I read the. Oh god. For me, it's like I like both, but I find that some series, like after the first three books, they just become like filler and True. like trying to keep the plot going when there isn't any plot to keep going. Some series are great. Like I'm a huge Potter nerd. So like, Potter, I, I love Harry Potter and I think that plot is good from beginning to end, but then I've read other series where really only the first couple are good and yeah. then it just kind of goes on and on. So really it kind of just, it depends on the series itself. Twilight! It's... <laughs> I'm kidding. We're gonna pretend you didn't say that. We're gonna pretend I didn't. I've never actually read <laughs> a book. I... Of Twilight. Unfortunately, I went through a phase. <laughs> about that. That was well, a dark, we just, we just that talked a about dark it. time in my life. We don't talk about it. I'm pretty sure it was an angsty teen time. Yeah. It was pre-teen. Pre <laughs> like, I was literally pre like 13. <gasps> like, you, could, you know how birds preen their feathers? That could be a new word for pre Okay, back to the topic. Things, pre so, so because of that, I've read a lot more trilogies because I find they're a lot more flow from one book to the other, beginning, middle, end, um, and usually less filler depending on the trilogy. But I can love series too, if as long as there's they don't just go on and on and on irrelevantly. Okay, more he heroes or villains? Heroes. Wait for what? Just your preference and characters. But preference doesn't have to mean like I like what they do. Oh. Right. Yes. I feel like. I will say heroes, but the stipulation there is that it has to be a very well-created hero. Yeah, because for me, I don't think I just pick hero over villain. For me, it's really yeah. based on the writtenness of the character. Like, for example, what? like how the characters... Whatever. If it's a well-written character, I like ah, that. Ah, thank you. Like, like, like Bellatrix Lestrange is one of my favorite Bellatrix. villains. I said that. Bellatrix. Whatever. <gasps> she's, she's a dog. Please. <laughs> Anyways, she's she's one of my favorite villains. Obviously, I don't approve of what she does, but like she's a very well written no. villain. Isn't she a nice lady? Who's just misunderstood. <laughs> and like as far as a hero, like I love Hermione Granger because I think she's a very Hermione. well written. I know all my examples are Harry Potter. Hermione, I'm a huge Harry Potter nerd. But anyways, really, it's not just heroes or villains for me. It more depends on. Well the like the opposite of her height is how much she's a butter nerd. She's so tiny. <laughs> Next. Okay, a book you think everyone should read. Uh. Oh you can no! Can answer first if you need to. Yes. Looking. I'm bad Alaska. with titles. Looking for Alaska. I think it's beautifully written, and if you're interested uh. in issues that cover mental health, it's. I think it's a really important. My it punches favorite. you in the feel so hard you have to get up and keep that's, going. That's my other favorite single standing book. So that's what I can that. remember off the top of my head. Yeah. It's been very, very well. It covers a lot of fleshed out. issues. It, it, yeah. It books that really put substance yes. behind those kinds of things, like where it feels Like, like, I don't know, it's just really well written in the sense that it comes from a place of either understanding one of the perspectives yeah. or 
And just an Having accurate representation in yeah. general of it. It's not sugar-coated. Yeah. Nickel. Think an author or a book will say that author. you think is underrated. Underrated? Yes. Um, it's a fantasy series. I totally remember you talking about it. The series is like it's like a Redwall style series where the whole like the universe that the author made is so like expansive you can jump between sets. Okay, if Ahmed the... remembers the series name, I will put. There it will right happen. Here. I will try. I will put the it author. right here if he remembers the series name or the Up author. Here. Yeah. Um, I think honestly, David Levithan doesn't have as much as much recognition as he should. He's uh he's an author that writes a lot of books um about. Um, in the LGBTQ plus community, and he just he just does a really good job of like writing about them in a way that's just humanizing because they're everyday people like anyone yeah. else. And I just like I read his book every day recently, and it's so well written. I loved it. You read it every um, day, or it's called every day? It's called every day. I did, but yeah. not the point. Anyway, oh. so I I think generally his books should get more recognition than they do. The last book you finished. <laughs> my textbook? <laughs> well, you're, you're, my psychology textbook? <laughs> I don't finish my engineering textbooks. Yeah, I was just gonna say, probably. <laughs> yeah. The Psych 2030A at Western University required textbook, Abnormal Psychology. <laughs> Seventh edition. Super interesting. It um, was so cool. I knew, no I knew like nothing. And now I know like almost nothing <laughs> instead of nothing. Mine was so much I want to tell you letters to my little sister. I will have read a book in a few weeks, hopefully. Yeah. Um, that's by Anna Akana, and basically it's a series of things she would tell her little sister Christina if she's alive. Um, yes. Uh, her little sister died of suicide. Died of suicide. That was just yeah. an interesting way to put it, because people don't usually say it that way. Like, yeah. Because people usually say committed suicide. Yeah, I mean... Like, no, it's it's cool, because when you say died of suicide, you make it more of a condition yeah. than a act. Yeah, well, it is, because it that's stems what I mean. from depression. That's how I mean. Yeah, so she's she's a huge advocate um, for um, suicide prevention, and uh, it's just really beautiful writing. That's, like, really nice. I agree. Um, last book you bought, probably. Oh! It had a dragon on the front, so I bought Hunter by Mercedes Lackey. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think. Uh, I it had a dragon on the front. I think, if I can recall, mine was Everything Everything. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I have heard very good things, and the movie just came out, so I want to read it. She has to for everything ever. I don't have to, I just prefer to. Um, the weirdest thing you've used is a bookmark. Weirdest? Yeah. Uh, it's not too weird, but like, like a tissue. Yeah. Like not not like a, a piece of paper. Anymore. Like literally, just like, oh, there's a Kleenex box. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. We're good. I've totally, if I've been reading in bed and like have to run to the washroom or whatever, just stick like part of my comforter <laughs> in the book <laughs> and then run off. Yeah. That's so silly. I know. Um, do you, like, used books, yes or no? Yes. Yes, me too. Used books are the best thing ever. So good. I mean, as Libraries long as are the best thing ever. As long as they're still in, like, decent condition. As long as I can read it. Yeah. 100%. Um, three of your favorite genres? Fantasy, definitely. Um, fantasy, um like action adventure adventure style mm -hmm. ones and then I, I love to see the mystery. Yeah. Mysteries uh, like I say like the Hardy I box. read a lot of YA books in general. Yeah. So like within that I Oh I guess I do Yeah, but like within YA you can split it up into like fantasy as well. Um I don't exactly know how to call it, but I'd say realistic fiction like the John Green. Oh, I it's see. fiction, but it like takes place 
this and this one. It, it follows like the Yeah. Um, and then I also really like historical fiction. Oh. Yeah. Um, like Shakespeare. <laughs> so now we... <laughs> that's just... No, I know, anyway. <laughs> so now we're back to the question you were answering before, borrow or buy? Borrow. Yeah. We know. We know. I, I'm definitely more of a buyer when it comes to books. I like collecting them. I like having them. But then those books are printed on the paper. But a lot of the time, people just buy them for me. So. Many times people just buy them for me. Because everyone knows I love books, so they always buy me books, and I'm, I'm done with that. Um, characters versus plot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, really good characters kind of drive a plot. So. Yeah. No, Characters I'd say, above plot. Yeah, I'd say both too because I find that like even if the plot's really good, if you can't really find any depth in the character, it, the story kind of falls flat. So like a well-written character is really important. But I mean, if the plot sucks, then like you know you can you need to balance it well. Um, long books or short books? Long books if they're like series. I don't like short books. I prefer like a good like 500 page, yeah, 600 page. For me, it's it's kind of the same answer as I did for trilogies or series. I like both as long as the long book doesn't like go on and on. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um. And so on the same line, um, long chapters and short chapters. I think I. I don't same. really find a difference. I don't really find a difference either. As like. Long as... Yeah. I mean, I'm one of those people that really likes finishing a chapter I'm on. So when it's short chapters, mm -hmm. that's easy, it's going to get better or whatever, but like, yeah. honestly, both are fine. True, I'll just finish like a paragraph, yeah. it's so big, it's, it's a super long chapter. Yeah. Um, ah. first three books that come to mind. Hunter, the one in my room. Um, An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, because An Abundance of Catherines has math. <laughs> and then... <laughs> There's a lot more than math. But, but it mostly has math. <laughs> Check it out if you like math. Um, another book that comes to mind. TikTok. Um, the ones in my the the Kenneth Opal Bat series thing. The other one. Yeah. I I loved that series. Yeah, I read it as a child. Um. Okay. Um. Mine would be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Harry Potter and the Harry Potter series. Yeah. <laughs> um. A book that makes you both laugh and cry. Cry from laughter. Yeah. yeah. Sweet! I mean, I think the idea was more... <laughs> I'll answer first. Pretty much anything by John Green. She, no, pretty much anything. <laughs> anything by John Green. Pretty much anything. Actually, any book, honestly. You just like I'm, pre I'm so every emotional. Book. Every book I've ever read makes me laugh and cry. But, like, John Green's really good at doing that to me. Like, really good. Like, oh, it feels. Um, our world or fictional world? Fictional world. world. Screw <laughs> our world. Seriously? Who cares about... No, I think world. they mean when you're reading a book, do you prefer to read books that take place in horror no. or fictional? No! I want random shit. Well, see, I like or both like, again. If it's on our world, I want it to be not fictional. But you Are love, you like, stuff? John Green and stuff. And that's really yeah, awesome. but generally, I prefer fantasy. Usually, and, yeah. Like, those are good books, but for me, I... Uh, generally prefer. Yeah, I honestly, I go through phases. Like, I love both, and, like, right... I went through a huge phase where I really wanted realistic fiction. You mm, went through a Twilight phase. Okay, that was when I was like 13, and we don't talk about it. Yes, we do. I could literally write essays on the negative impacts of Twilight and why it's really bad as a, as something that young girls look up to. Um, if you want that video, I can do that video. Let me know. In the um, comments below. And, like, it's not, like, a rip on anyone who likes the series. I did authentically love it when I was this young. This turned into a was, Twilight rant. That was before <laughs> I saw some of the damaging things. There's actually a really good Lacey Green video on it that I can, like, send you below if you want to watch it. Um, but, yeah, honestly, I go through phases. Right now I'm kind of in a fantasy so, yeah. Um, audiobooks, yes or no? Yeah. 
I haven't really given them a shot, to be fair. I, okay, I, when I was going to school in Calgary, we had like yeah. an hour drive to get to the, the school because it was a, a private school. Uh, we, like, my mom would put in Brian Jake's <laughs> yeah. audiobooks. But yes, audiobooks are actually pretty sweet, especially if you drive yeah. around a lot and don't, like, if you're not, like, busing where you can read. Because my brother got really into audiobooks when he was in residency because he'd have to commute to work pretty far, so and he didn't really have time to read because my school was crazy. So, um, so he'd listen to audiobooks in the car on the way. So, like, I get their podcasts and everything. I just haven't really given them a shot. Um, do you judge books ever by their cover? No, I judge it by what, like, I'll read the little... The summary, yeah. yeah. The summary. I, like, don't, I don't, care about I don't usually judge books negatively by their cover, but mm -hmm. I've definitely judged them positively by their cover. Like, oh. if I see a very beautiful cover, I'm I had a dragon! Yeah, no, seriously, if I see a book with a very beautiful cover, I'll be like, I'm going to love that book, and I'm going to read it and love it. Um, <laughs> so do you, like, borrow it then? Well, I usually still read the inside of the box, okay. so it's interesting. Fair. Um, so, do you prefer book to movie <laughs> adaptations or book to TV adaptations? Or do you think you would prefer it to the same Movies are always so hard to fit things in. Yeah. I prefer... I don't, like, if it was done well, if both were done to equal caliber, I'd say it's Because yeah. I want there to be time to develop, kind of like yeah. the book has time to develop. Yeah, and you can really get into the world, yeah. too. Um, you can even expand on it. Yeah, and sometimes, but I do find that depending on the TV series, there have been some TV shows that have dealt so far from the book that, oh, like, no. That like it doesn't really capture what the book is about yeah. anymore. So like really like I think T V series though have more of an option to, to really it. Yeah. Like the recent series of unfortunate events, T V series is unreal mm -hmm. and I really didn't like the movie, but the T V series is so so good. So yeah. yeah. Um a movie that you think was better than the book. I got nothing. <laughs> I literally got nothing. I literally it's have a shirt that says the book was better. Because <laughs> it's so hard. Because gen like generally speaking, people do read the book before the movie. Yeah. But like I'm not saying this in all cases, but sometimes you get the like you have the book in mind the whole time you're watching the movie. Yeah. Right? Instead of enjoying it as a movie, you're enjoying it as a book adaptation and you're like, hey, this is different, this is different, they didn't do this, they didn't put this in, why didn't they have this, like, it's hard to have a fair comparison if you are the, like, critiquing both. I think, like, I will, I will objectively enjoy the movie adaptation as long as it still has the feel and the message of the book, yeah. even if they miss stuff, like, I, I will still be like, okay, that was a good, miss, like, adaptation if it still has the same messaging and everything. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong, I do compare everyone does, and Generally, like, looks better. But, but, like, I will <laughs> be pleased with the adaptation if, if they get, like, the messaging and stuff. Right. The best part about me is that after I've read a book and I go see a movie, I forget, like, a bunch of the little <laughs> details in the book. Yeah, so I, I just, know, like, I, fully I, enjoy the movie. I'm like, there were things that were different? <laughs> what? Okay, series or standalones? I feel like I still have the same answers as series or trilogies. Like, I like both as long as the series doesn't just go on and on. Yes, standalones are a lot more convenient. Yeah. When, especially when you don't have time or if you're in school or something. Yeah. So I tend to prefer them when I'm busy. Yeah. Series is Oh yeah, oh yeah, because like... you'll be like, oh, I need the next one when you have a series. Yeah. Okay, and that's it. No, <laughs> that's fine. He was having fun. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, I will leave his channel information down below, he does video game stuff and posts like pretty much every day. Yeah, basically. Every weekday, right? Every weekday I do the videos and then I stream on the weekends to every day if I'm in town. My usual content is like spoken word, dance, and music, um, but I sometimes post fun things like this. Um, oh, I vlog! Like every Monday. Once a week. <laughs> Usually it's something stupid unless you guys have like a topic you want me to talk about. You done? I talked about my waffle iron. <laughs> okay. I post weekly videos and yeah. So let me know if you like this kind of thing or if you want me to talk about anything else and I will see you.
do that. Okay, see you next time. Bye. <laughs>